blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday after Epiphany. Our Mass presided today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rolion Jr., SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Let us repeat the sounding joy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. Those who are here in our shrine, the very few of us. And of course, those who are following us in this live stream. As we continue to celebrate this Holy Mass, we ask the Lord to prepare our hearts for this Holy Communion. We call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words, words, in what they have, have done, and in what they have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that the bringer of your salvation, who for the world's redemption came forth with newness of heavenly light, may dawn afresh in our hearts and bring us constant renewal who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, if God so love us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we are remain in him, and in he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledged that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love of God 
has for us. God is love, and moreover, remain in love remains in God, and God in Him. In this love, brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as He is, so are we in the world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. And so, one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on the earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment and though the king, and with your justice, the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer griefs. The king of Arabia and Sheba shall bring tribute. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. Wika in mo po nakikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After the five thousand had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and preceded him to the other side toward Bethsaida while he dismissed the crowd. And when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was far out on the sea and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. About the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But at once he spoke with them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the incident of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Yesterday, I had a short road trip together with my fellow priests. And we're talking about the contrast in the traffic before Christmas, we're in, we're talking that, oh, it's almost like a regular Christmas traffic. Cars are out, people are out in the street, 
and people are out in the mall and restaurants are open. We in our Simbangabi like they have the 70, 80 capacity and outside, no, ay ganun din ang dami ng tao. And then yesterday, konti na naman after announcing the level 3. Well, I hope that it is because of obeying what the IATF, the government, is telling us. But I assume that it is also accompanied by fear. Ito na naman, nagbabanta na naman ang mga lockdown. Papasok na naman tayo doon sa sitwasyon na we thought we have a mastery, but we have none. Anong ibig kong sabihin? Doon sa mga sitwasyon na yung iba, gagawa na naman sila ng trabaho o gawain na hindi naaayon sa kanilang profesyon para lang magkapera, para lang mabuhay. Ang ating mga frontliners, eto na naman. No? Toxic na naman ang mga magiging situation sa mga hospitals. I told it that with lack of mastery because that's what happened with the disciples of Jesus in this another what we term epiphany event, the manifestation of Jesus as being Lord, being God. What happened to them was they are being tossed by the sea and while rowing, the wind was against them giving us an idea that they are struggling. Struggling in a situation or a moment that's supposed to be their mastery. Many of them are masters of the sea. Many of them have spent almost all their lives with the sea. And yet, here comes an event wherein because of what they are facing, they seemingly are helpless. And here comes Jesus to the rescue, giving them hope by calming the sea, telling them that, look, I am not only the master of the sea, but master of the universe. They were astounded. They were surprised. No? And special mention dito ni Mark that they were there right after seeing a miracle, the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves, probably giving us an idea that you know, their faith is still in process. Their faith in Jesus. Hindi pa kompleto. Hindi pa ganap. But Jesus is there, giving himself, showing them his power, walking on the water, and of course, his care for his followers, his disciples, when he come the storm. They were overcome by fear. Beautifully said by John, in the first reading that one who fears is not yet perfect in love. At ganito na naman tayo. Ang ating puso ay mababalot ng takot o patuloy na nababalot ng takot sa mga nangyayari sa paligid. And so let us cling on to Jesus. Let us cling on to the one who walks in the water, the one who manifested himself as the Lord even of the storm, of the wind, of the sea. And that is our prayer for our communities, that may God give us courage to face what we are facing right now, the pandemic, the daily difficulties of life, and also 
may through Jesus we learn to be courageous, to help, to care for our brothers and sisters, like what he did. May this manifestation of Jesus' power be the source of strength to all of us. Amen. We ask the Father in heaven to strengthen our faith and help us overcome our fears. Let us pray, Father, be our strength. Father, be our strength. That the church throughout the world may show deep faith in God, our Father, who guides the world events, we pray. Father, Father be, be our, our strength. strength. That we may grow in our faith in order to be confident of what we hope for and assured of the things we cannot see. Father, we be pray. our strength that those who have lost their way in life may lead safely back home, we pray. Father, be our strength. That the Lord may grant healing to those who are sick and strengthen those who are in despair, we pray. Father, be our strength. For our frontliners, healthcare workers, and other essential workers, that God may cover them with his mantle protection Sustain them and give them strength as they perform their respective duties. May we have enough medical provision, health care facilities, and other resources to use for everyone who needs cure. We pray. Father, be our strength. That those who have died may enjoy forever fullness of God's saving power, which they have always longed for. We pray. Father, be our strength. In silence, let us pray for others' intention. We pray. Father, be our strength. Heavenly Father, we know that anything we ask for in your name will be granted. May our ears be always open to your words. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Isang sanggol anak ng berhen ang siyang isinila ngayon sa bilen tulun niya ay kaligtasan at kapayapaan sa sanggitan siya'y prinsipe ng Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Onesto, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you, should you should enter, enter under my, my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, we may strive with ever-deepened trust for things eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank, thank you for, for the, the vaccines, vaccines developed, developed made possible by your guiding vaccines. hands. Bless, Bless our, our efforts to use these vaccines, vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the and whole world. world. We pray, pray for, for our health workers, workers that, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant, grant them health, health in mind and body, strengthen their, strength in their commitment, commitment, protection from, from the disease. We, we pray, pray for, for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadamitz, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the good news. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
prayer service in honor of St. Joseph. Be blessed, St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor you in our person, the choice of eternal father, who wished to share with you his power over his begotten son, the choice of divine son himself who wanted to be subject to you, to be called son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary most holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continuance which you manifested all during those years when you live under the same roof with the Virgin Mary. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praise our Father and Protector for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow you, follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the divine child. Show the same fatherly care now to us who are members of Christ and the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your li lively faith, your prompted obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all temporal rulers. Be the model of patience and diligence for all workers and come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for your faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may admitted to the glorious vision of the Turin God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of Saint Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever recourse to your protection or implore your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petition. Guardian Father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Lord have mercy on us. Jesus hear us. Jesus graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, 
pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Strong, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Artisans, pray for us. Glory of Home Life, pray for us. Guardian of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Families, pray for us. Solace of the Wretched, pray for us. Hope of the Sick, pray for us. Patron of the Dying, pray for us. Terror of Demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possession. Let us pray. O God, God your in, in, in your ineffable providence, you were pleased to choose Blessed, blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Bye now. 